Hello, hello, Jeff Elvin here with Ballon Brands, and today I'm gonna to show you how to add a mortgage calculator to your real estate website. Uh, so what I have pulled up here on the screen is one of our themes. This is our theme one of our brew, our Ballon real estate websites. And this is basically a demo site, but I'm gonna walk you through uh, what we're gonna set up here. Now we build on Elementor currently, and I'm gonna show you how to add the mortgage calculator, whether it's via uh, Gutenberg, your standard WordPress interface, or Elementor. It's really just one little change, so we're gonna cover both of those here, regardless of what you're using. So uh, first off here, I have the website pulled up. Um, we actually use IDX Broker as our IDX tool. So that's what pulls in these listings. Um, and it allows us to do our searches and lead capture and so forth. And IDX Broker actually already has a mortgage calculator tool available. So uh, just to show you what that looks like, if you have IDX Broker, you can simply just put in your IDX Broker domain and then it's slash IDX slash mortgage. And what that does, is it pulls up the mortgage calculator that they have built in by default into their platform. So there are some configuration things you can do in the IDX Broker admin to kind of change your uh, defaults here if you'd like to do that based on price points and so forth but what this does is show you your you know lets you put in the price of the home what your down payment is those types of things and then I can just simply click show amortization to see what my mortgage is going to be like um, so that's one quick and easy way all we have to do is just link that up right so I can add it up here with mortgage calculator I can put it on my buying page um, you know make it a button throughout so these there's lots of different options you know as far as linking it up but the page already exists if maybe the tool that you have plugged into your website already has that option so that's one way just a really quick way to kind of touch on that um, the other way if you don't already have that tool maybe you just have more of an informational website you don't have IDX plugged in or you don't have those tools available uh, we recommend a service called mortgagecalculator.org and this is basically a free calculator you can put on the website um, I went to the to the page here and then I'm just going to click on widgets. So when I click on widgets, I have different options on what type of widget I want to install. Um, in this case, I'm going to go to the full page calculator because I want to go ahead and make it, you know, the full screen. So this walks you through now uh, just to, to kind of touch base. There is a WordPress specific plugin, um, but you know, it doesn't necessarily have any additional features that we can add to it. So we really like to just use a standard widget, just the code that we put on the page as opposed to the WordPress plugin. Because otherwise you have to download the plugin, upload the plugin, um, you know, make some configuration and then place it. But in our case, we can just use either a sidebar calculator, uh, which is what shows up over here, or we could do the full page calculator and we could just copy and paste the code. So it's to us, that's a little easier to manage and maintain rather than doing yet another plugin that might add some additional styles and features and functions. So in this case, we're just gonna go ahead and go to full page calculator and it'll walk you through the steps, but just to kind of cut right through that, uh, you can set your general configuration, down payment, home value, again, whatever is gonna be your, uh, your defaults that you'd like to have here. And then once you've done that, you just simply copy this code. So this is the code that's a result of what you do up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave those all as the defaults, but we're just gonna go ahead and copy the code. And now we're ready to, to put that on a page. So I'm gonna go back to our theme. All right, we're gonna, I'm already logged in to the WordPress uh, admin. I'm gonna go ahead and click on dashboard here. And we're gonna to go to pages, add new. And now when we pull up the page, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a title. How about, um, how much home can I afford? Right, we can call it mortgage calculator, you can call it whatever you like, it's really pretty simple. Uh, but we want something that's gonna be enticing, maybe something that's good for uh, keyword searches. So how much home can I afford might be something that someone would type into a search engine. Um, so that's what we're, gonna, what we're gonna leave there. Now here, if we're just doing it on standard Gutenberg, you know, WordPress interface, all I'm gonna do is click this little plus sign and type in code. And you'll see there's code, but custom HTML. That's what I have. I've been given HTML code. If I actually use the code widget here, that's gonna interpret what I paste. So kind of like what I saw on this, this is like using the code widget where it actually keeps the code itself. So we don't actually want that. We want the custom HTML option that we have here. So I'm gonna click on custom HTML. I paste that in there and I can preview the page. All right, open that up here, generating the preview. 
and there we go. So I've got my, you know, of course my theme, everything here. Uh, how much home can I afford? And then it has the mortgage calculator on here. I can still change these, you know, as the as the user. Um, these are the defaults that are in there, but I can change all of this information and kind of see how that all looks. And then I have all my details. So it's pretty cool. Um, this isn't a lead capture. This is simply just a website visitor uh, tool. So if we wanted to make it a lead capture, we'd need to do something different on here. Like, um, you know, maybe we like, you know, use our mortgage calculator and then who are you? Like we maybe we'd put a lead capture ahead of the page, for example. Um, we won't touch on those particular items here because we don't want to make it too complicated. But bottom line is this easy way to um, make this a tool. Now, if you are using the IDX broker, you know, something like that, that does do the lead capture. When they fill out that information, it saves it and saves them as a contact. So, um, you know, different ways that you can use the different, different options there. All right. So now, um, again, we build on Elementor. So the other option here is I can go ahead and just remove that block altogether and I can click on edit with Elementor. So if I'm gonna do the edit with Elementor, that's gonna load my page in the Elementor screen. And really the only reason to do this would be if I'm gonna use some of the other Elementor features such as like a slider and some different things that I wanna do there. Uh, but in this case, I just wanna use the actual, um, you know, widget here. Now what this did, let me go ahead and just delete this. It, it basically pulled in um, what I had done previously in the Gutenberg interface. So we'll just act as though that was not there. And then I'm going to do the same thing here, searching a widget. The same way I did a block, I'm going to do the, you know, the widget here. So if I type in HTML or code, it's going to give me this little option. So I can just simply drag that over, paste in my code, and there you go. You see it right here as well. So again, if I wanted to do additional features, I wanted to add some things around it, I wanted to add a slider on there, uh, maybe give some pictures of homes, you know, that might be a reason why I want to use the Elementor interface. But at the end of the day, it's really pretty much the same output. You know, it looks the same whether I just use the Gutenberg HTML block or if I go into Elementor and use that block as well. So that's it, guys. Once we have that in there, um, obviously we publish it, we save it, um, we go add it to the navigation. Let's just go ahead and do that. See what that looks like here for us. All right, we're going to go back out to the dashboard. And so now we just want to add it to the navigation, right? Wherever we want to put it. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Appearance, Menus. And now we just need to add it. So in this case, I have this how much home can I afford? I can just simply select that, hit Add to Menu, and that's what it would be called. Now, that might be a little long in the menu, and maybe I want to move it. Let's say uh, Buying. Uh, maybe I want to make it a sub category of buying or like a sub item. Okay, I can do that too. So let's say I'm just going to leave that as it is. Let's save that menu item. I can go back to the demo. And now you'll notice under buying, there's an option for how much home can I afford. So if you like this style, where you are going to have multiple tabs underneath. Um, if you want it to show up here, I would just drag it differently. There's a lot of different options when it comes to the menu. But of course, in this case, you know, the point is, is just, we just need to link it up. Um, we also do linking throughout our, uh, like our buyer blogs, for example, if we talk about what is a home mortgage, um, then we're going to, you know, kind of have some calls to action here too. Um, so we could add a button here that says, how much can I afford? Uh, things like that. So that's one way, another way to link it up, be kind of in an appropriate spot uh, so that we can get the most uh, bang for our buck when it comes to our visitors and give them the most valuable tools that we can. So that's it, guys. Everything else, like I said, pretty simple, all customizations from there, you know, if you want to modify things. But, uh, you know, again, good resource for grabbing a, a widget that we can just place on the website. Uh, if, you, if your IDX tool has that integrated, we can just link that up. Uh, pretty simple steps to make that available. So if you have any questions on that, by all means, you can reach out to us at team at